Hey guys, welcome back to Espanol Republicano. Oh my goodness. This is this is an interesting let's play. Let's just leave it at that. Having to watch the Soviets do what they have to to see if they can survive is very interesting. We're going to see what happens, guys. We're going to see what happens. Right now, we're still not in Russian winter. But if they could just... We're going to see what happens. If they can hold them until Rus Russian winter, I think we'll be able to survive. But if they can't hold them until once Russian winter, we're basically, we're basically messed over. But the Germans have made an advanced movement. Look at that. Conquering all this in less than, less than a year. Oh, man. Moscow's right there. Man, this is really close. Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty sure the Germans are going to be able to push all the way through. It looks like the Germans are just way, way too far in. The fall of Leningrad, the struggle of East continues. Wow. Well, Leningrad fell, everyone, so... Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're watching the end now. But, you know what? I don't really consider this too much of a bad Let's Play because, well, obviously... Oh my goodness, did you guys finally invade? If you guys flippin' finally invade, I'm gonna be so flippin' mad because you kinda came in a little bit too late, you idiots. You dolts. Ugh. Like, seriously, you could've done this a little bit earlier and you would've had a really good time. By the way, Britain, you still haven't pushed all of the Germans out of your land yet. Okay, uh, Soviets. Come on, just survive. You just have to live until Russian winter. Russian winter is your saving grace. It really is. Like, seriously, if Russian winter did not exist, you guys would be so dead. It looks like, it, wow, it looks like they're actually starting to push back just a little bit. They're keeping at least the Germans at bay right about here, which is what they need to do. They just need to make sure Moscow does not fall. Moscow cannot fall in any of this. If Moscow falls, we're all dead. Moscow does not fall, we're all living, which is good. And let's see, now the now these guys are being all pushed back because apparently you guys don't have any troops there, do you? These are all just militiamen, aren't they? You guys aren't actually sending any troops to actually go reinforce these positions. Go send troops to these positions. Go start invading France. This is your destiny, America and France and whoever else is in charge of that invasion. Um, over here, come on, start pushing back the Italians. They have literally no supplies over here. You could easily beat them. Okay, over here in Africa, you guys could also easily beat them. Okay, uh, July... Oh my goodness, they're right there. They, I think they're about the same. They're about the same, but... It makes me feel so tense when I just see them, like, right there. I'm pretty sure those are Romanian soldiers still fighting in this war? That's really weird to see. Um, let's see, we got some breakage in the Italian. Outlaw the communist party. Give us a port. Yeah, I was about to say. We're communists through and through. I mean, we may say we're a Democrat, we're a Democrats nation, but we're siding with the Soviets. I'm, by gosh, we're gonna stick with that decision. <laughs> Even if it killed us, we stuck with that decision. So, anyway, so let's see. We made it. To, we made it to August. Come on, guys. A little bit longer. Winter is in October. Two more months. Just two more months. Oh man, don't come on, Soviets. I'm pretty sure the Germans are losing a little bit of steam. Because for some reason, we're actually moving in over here. Maybe they can actually free uh, Netherlands. That'd actually be really nice to see. Like, all of Netherlands freed over here? That'd be really nice to see. Maybe America's actually... Maybe America's actually doing a good job over here. I don't know. I, I really don't know how the front over here is going. I'm hoping it's going great. Because that's the only thing I can hope for. Because, like, we already got destroyed over here. Like, we're gone. <laughs> we are gone. But, like, Germany might be messed over over here? I really don't know. They just have to keep moving in. If they could actually, if they could free France, oh my goodness. France would be a definite help to their empire's goals. Um, oh my goodness, they're right there. Okay, September 3rd. Let's see, Moscow is right there. Oh man, they're making big pushes. Okay, come on. We're almost in Russian winter. We're almost there. And I'm hoping there's actually an event that's Russian Winter because I'm just I'm just kind of assuming that there would be because it's a paradox game and it seems like someday we do. Okay, let's see. Do I have any like modifies winter map mode? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Does this actually show winter? Let's see. Outcast temperature. Let's see. 
Hmm, not exactly. It doesn't look as good as like when you go into EU4, but let's see. Okay, we got a lot of storms in this area. A lot of, lot of uh, stuff going on there. Uh, got some snow starting to fall, which is good. It's good. That's going to start. That's going to start helping us. Okay, and let's see. Down here, I think we basically stabilized this front. I don't think the Hungarians are going to be able to move in. We kicked out the Italians, which was awesome. Sweet. Okay. And then... America! Wow, you guys are actually... Okay! Keep pushing, America! Don't stop! <laughs> I think this is actually becoming a big enough front for the, uh... For the, uh, people over here to actually care about. But... They're going to have to start redeploying the men a little bit here soon. We're getting pushed back over here. I'm guessing we're going to have too much difficulty to hold on to Finland. We're probably going to have to push back to this front. We're almost there, man. We're almost there. Just hold on. Just hold on. Wait for that winter, man. Wait for that winter. Oh, man. Right there, man. Right there is Moskov. Wait, I'm pretty sure. Wait, yep. No, that's Tula. Moskov's right there. Moskov's right there. The nearest... The nearest province, and they're getting close. Ah, uh, but we got to October. Okay, okay, I think we made it. I'm pretty sure we just made it. Yes, because I'm starting to see more lightning clouds, more winterish clouds. Oh my goodness. Yes, I think this is this, okay. This is definitely the time that Soviets should start to push forward. Now that they have their winter on their side, they should be able to start being able to push them back. Uh, who knew it would take an entire an, an entire natural event of of nature to, for us to actually start winning this? And it looks like America is doing a good job. They're going to conquer all of Normandy a little bit in a weird way. But they wow, they're rapidly expanding. Okay, keep sending in more troops. Whatever you're doing, America, keep sending in more troops. Keep backstabbing the amount of men over here. I don't know why they haven't actually gone in and tried to conquer any of this. But we're slowly destroying all this. The battle... The Battle of the Bulge is actually not happening right now. It's actually like, I don't know. I don't know where anything's pushing. They probably need to conquer this really quickly here so they can release some troops tension spots. But they're moving in rapidly. That's good. That's really good. Over here, though, we haven't made any progress, but I know we're definitely in Russian winter now. And it looks like, actually, it looks like we're slightly pushing back just a little bit. Like, it's a little bit less of a border, which is good. Um, I know for a fact we pushed back the Italians over here. They were on the continent itself until we like push them back. And now there's like a there's probably like a stalemate going on between the two nations. Uh, and they probably neither one of them can get past each other. Like these two armies are just not going to be able to fight each other. All right. And then over here, um, I don't know what's going on over here. I really don't. But. It looks like we're slightly making more advances. November 8th, definitely. In the thick and thin of Russian winter. Um, pressure, humidity, temperature, 3.2 Celsius. That is cold, man. That is cold. Oh, and let's see. We're moving in pretty much at a good rate. America over here is being... Wow, why haven't you guys killed that one unit right here? <laughs> okay. America has basically gone in reverse... And basically went in, destroyed everything. I'm not sure America's actually going to give me back all my land, though. That's the one thing I might be a little bit mad at. Is they probably won't give me back all my land, but... Um, nuclear physicist. Yay! I didn't know I was still making stuff. I was just kind of just under the assumption that we were kind of dead. Yes! And then some more revolts right here. Is that some more revolts? Yes! Polish revolts right in the middle! Oh my goodness, yes, they're starting to deal with major problems now. Now they not only got rebellions, but they got revolts, they got everything going on. UK hasn't really made any progress over there. Kind of makes me feel mad. Uh, okay, and let's see. Us over here, how are we doing? Eh, I'll admit, we're not exactly, we're not exactly moving in anymore, but at least we stopped the, we stopped the German advance. Um, these Polish troops, I have high hopes for. Maybe they can, like, Unite a little bit more Poland before they all get conquered again. Hopefully. If not, then we're just going to see them all get slaughtered pretty quickly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe my troops... Hey, could my, could my country rise up in rebellion now? Like, get me 60 units to just rise up in rebellion and we can just go conquer this all back. 
before America comes. Seriously, before America comes. Oh my goodness. Okay, what America needs to do though, it needs to quickly finish off this front and this front right here, and then go turn all of its sights to just defeating the Germans right over here. The Germans are gonna have to start like pushing back. Yes! The Germans assist are gonna have to start pushing back if they want to defeat this massive amount of a of a front that we've created over here. Hmm. Well everyone, it seems like even in this time period, we will actually the Allies will win World War One, but Hey, look! Russia invaded all of Korea. So, I'm, I'm guessing that the pseudo-political consequences of that is going to be that there's only going to be one Korea, and it's going to be ruled by the, by the communists. So, eh? Good? Bad? I don't know. <laughs> Seems all relative to me. Okay, and looks like over here, Japan's just kind of chilling. Uh, not really doing anything, actually. I think, but once they actually have all the troops over here done, I think we're going to go fight that front. But, yeah, we're definitely starting to push back. That is definitely a big bulge right there. Yes, we're starting to push back the German advance. Over here, it seems like the uh, Americans are finishing off the... Uh, are finishing off the uh, whatever states are right there. Germany has officially been divided into two fronts. Oh, that isn't good for them. <laughs> and they're having to fight both me, the Soviets, and these guys. It's not going to be good for them. Oh my goodness, and then Turkey also reconquered some of their land. Because I'm pretty sure they didn't just exile this war. No, they didn't, because Italy's still fighting. They did not exile this war. They're still fighting this war. They're pushing back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are defeating the... This is the fall of the Germans. And let's see, does the British... Are they going to give me back my cores? No. America's going to be a jerk like that and not give me back my land. Let's see, could I ask kindly to America? I mean, they did abandon me during the uh, Republic the uh, Spanish Civil War, so maybe they would give me back my provinces. I would really prefer that, dude. Give me back my provinces once you're done conquering them back, okay? Because they are mine. Don't don't get me wrong. They are mine. But you shouldn't have them. <laughs> okay. Anyways, though, I'm watching this and thinking, oh my goodness, this might be our chance. Um, America's definitely crushing through everything. Needs to get through all of this though. That's a really, it's a really bad bulge that we just don't have yet. We also need to get this little province right here that's really annoying me. Also this right here so we can stop making new fronts. We are moving, they are moving into Spain pretty quickly. If they finish off Spain actually, that'd be completely fine. Um, are you guys at war with America? Because, you know, Portugal dies in this way. I guess I can accept it. No, they only are at war with, uh, are you guys at Portugal, are you guys at war with... I, I don't know. Let's see. I, I just know, I, I guess it only shows my country. And from my country's point of view, yes, that we're the only countries at war. Okay. But it seems like we have a couple different militia men rising up. We're pushing, we're doing a little bulge right here, yay! And it looks like the Hungarians have been pushed, have been at least pushed back a little bit. Everything's starting to be pushed back a little bit. If actually... If they could, like, crush this out right here, get St. Petersburg back, or Leningrad, as it's called at this point in time, um, then we could definitely win this. America definitely, its advancements are going to be pushing. They should actually have an easy time invading my land. Ooh, the game, the game pushed back again. The game pushed back again. Ooh, well, oh, come on, finish off Spain, finish off Spain. U.S. enforce, conquer Ecuador. Oh, America actually... Wait, what? America invaded Ecuador? Oh. Poor Ecuador. <laughs> what did they ever do to you, America? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's such like a mean move. Ecuador did like, I mean, they joined the wrong side, I'll give you that, but like, seriously, that's so mean. Okay, it seems like, oh man, it seems like the Germans, now since they're out of Russian winter, have recovered their troops. So now the troops are not going to act all herba derby. Now they're gonna actually act like real troops, but I'm pretty sure we did just enough of a front to now, now where the Russians are starting to push back. The Russians are starting to push back a pretty good amount, actually. And over here in America-ish, France-ish, land, Spanish, let's just say America, Europe. America land, just, you no, know, yeah, I'll just call it America land. America land, it's going to, it's basically pushing back and destroying all the stuff that was conquered by me. I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is that once they conquer all this, they're going to go send all these troops that are over here to go on this front. 
reconquer all this and then be back in like good terms and everything. If the British would also get off their high horses and go help, that'd also be nice. Because Britain, get in the game. Come on, get in the game. You guys are we're pushing. Everyone's trying to make massive pushes here. I mean look at us. The Russians are like destroying it over here. Seriously. And let's see. Japan is definitely destroying all of the uh, British British areas. Hopefully they won't destroy them fast enough because we're going to need to have them hold on for a little bit longer. Especially considering that we need to destroy... Russia needs to destroy all of this first. Once it destroys all of this, then it can destroy all of this and then we can start moving all of our troops in to go stop whatever invasion there is right here. Let's see. Yeah. Japan conquered all of Australia. Such a sad event. Let's see. The UK conquered all of Ethiopia. Huh. I did not know that. And let's see. We're pushing. Wow, they're actually pushing in reverse right now. Oh, wait. No, no. They have no troops like that. That's going to fall pretty quickly. Um. Yes, and America's pushing a little bit more into the bulge. That's good. Come on. We conquered the Maginot. Bleh. We conquered the Maginot line, people. Maybe, come on, just keep sending more troops in. Just reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. <gasps> we are now a puppet of the Allies. Oh, snap. Did I just change sides? Huh, I did. <laughs> so, everyone, we are no longer, we are no longer a uh, ally of the Soviet Union. We are officially a democracy. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah, and with democracy, we get... What exactly? I don't know. Well, I guess we get to see what America's been doing and see if the British have been helping. Okay, just as I thought, the, the British helped with one soldier. Great job, Britain. Great job. But for us, though, we have, an, we have almost our entire nation we conquered. Okay, and I'm going to do this because, you know, I'm, I, we are apparently not at war with Poland anymore. I guess that's a wise decision because Poland kind of... Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Poland's a much harder nation to defeat than I ever thought it was. So give Poland credit; they actually defy, they actually survived me. And let me go see the. Let's see how this is going. Oh, this is gonna be nothing. Once Russia finishes off, once the if the British do die over here in India, the Russians will be able to finish this off. But yes, okay. So America does have a decent front everywhere around. Let's see. Do I have my production decently back? Yes, I do. Okay, so. Build some, let's build some divisions. No, not cavalry. Uh, infantry. Uh, not cavalry. Infantry, infantry. Just give me some infantry. I know this isn't the best army. But we really don't, we really don't have time to like build insanely good armies. We just need to start production on everything. Hmm. Why isn't this starting production? Hmm. I, I guess we can't do production that way. What's this? Underground resistance. Oh, I didn't know. What? We could do this? Huh. I didn't know we could do this. If I had known this, I would have done this. Huh. I guess this is the way you kind of like stop other world powers. Let's go do that. Let's just do that and see what happens. Underground resistance. Move. Attack. Kill. Squash. Destroy. Let's see. So let's see, America now made me a puppet of their empire. I am eternally grateful to my American, my American allies. They are the greatest. Yay. And now we are basically, I guess we basically switched sides during the Cold War. I guess we're now America, we're now capitalist again. Oh man, but America's getting pushed back pretty majorly because I have to deal with my front. My front is annoying to deal with because like, it's... Uh, it has to be pushed. Well, it has to be there. Um, so America's having a really bad difficulty trying to defend everything. I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to defend it, though, because I don't think... America has enough troops here now. I believe they're going to start... At the very least, they're going to keep the Germans back. They're very much going to keep the Germans back. And with that point, the Russians are going to have an easier time reconquesting their land. Which, eventually, this is going to wear down the Germans. The Germans just cannot fight both fronts forever. Alright. Me, on the other hand, I can't even fight one front. I am basically here just to either get squashed or to get squashed majorly. It depends on which one you really like. Um, let's see. American troops are also usually better than... 
Yeah, look at that. That's three, four, seven, six, seven. They usually are better than the Italian troops. Italian troops are not going to be much of a threat here. I'm hoping that they will eventually conquer that. Never mind. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been a very, very interesting war, especially, especially considering that we now flip flop from being a so Soviet nation to now being a democratic nation. Very big switch, and I am very happy of it. But well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.